Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our previous video, we have discussed about Spring Boot validations on a bean, right? So we have discussed about not null, not blank, other things. I have uploaded that as part of this tutorial and I hope you guys might have watched it because this is a continuation of that video. Okay. So uh, I have the application open and it is running. I have opened the swagger as well. Okay. So uh, I have one situation here that I want to discuss then we'll get into the problem okay so here if you see there were two details so there were two apis here first one is get data get airport data by name and there's a one more api called get airport data by city okay so here the first one is about based on the name of the airport it will try to fetch okay let's see that okay let me take this and try it out based on the airport name i'm fetching okay and here airport city and airport id can be null okay and in case of airport city so airport name can be null based on the city it is trying to fetch okay so this is the one okay so in our previous video what we did is with the help of at the rate valid keyword we have validated the bean but in this case what is the bean here the bean is a port dto this is a bean okay so if i give this not blank it is applicable for both of them right both of the APIs okay because for both the APIs this is the input and it is applicable for both the APIs but my case is different my case is I want to be applicable only for the city in case of city and I wanted to applicable only for name in case of name API okay but this API currently is being input for two okay so how do I resolve that one of them is create a different uh, bean and use it but that uh, you know that will create a duplicacy right so how many beans you are going to create like that that is not a good way practice right so if i applied at the weight valid that uh, it is at the bean level okay but if i wanted to be applicable at method level okay at this particular airport city should be applicable only for one set of things and airport name should be applicable for other set of things okay that is where we have at the rate validated comes into picture okay so the primary goal of this video is to discuss about at the rate validated and how it is going to be different from at the rate valid okay so i have this particular uh, pojo here so let's see it which places it is being applied so you could see here get airport by city there's a one place and get airport by name at both the places it is there okay then how do i in this case i wanted to be applicable for name in this case i wanted it to be applicable for city so applicable means every yeah, city should not be null okay likewise so as i said we are going to use at the rate validated right so basically to distinguish that we need to have something right so in this case we are going to create an interface but that is going to be the markov interface what is mean by markov interface again here okay so the markov interface is an interface which does not have anything okay something called serializability runnability clonability are the markov interfaces right okay so in order to do that what i will do is i'll create a package first just follow me for two minutes you will understand okay so something like interfaces okay in interfaces let's create a interface so you should not create a class here you should create only interface okay i something like uh, i airport by something like by name okay airport by name let's create something like that i means interface here okay and here another interface called i airport by 
city okay so i am not going to do anything this is my markov interface okay and at real time at, at one time i am going to show i am going to use that that we will discuss okay so in a put dto object this is my dto object this at the weight not blank at the weight blank we have discussed in my previous video okay so what you can do is you just apply groups comma this okay in groups so for me i will if you have multiple you can do the you know comma separation okay so this is my airport name so what i will do is i airport by name dot class so where is that this one okay by class okay this is my group if you have multiple you just keep like this comma separated okay and the same thing here groups here okay so here i airport by name so not by name by city i want right by city dot class so just import the city by airport by city this by okay this so it means it is going to check at the weight not blank uh, validation only when that group name is this and the same applies to here at the weight uh, not blank is only be valid check only when the group name is this okay so when a group name is at the weight by city i don't going to care about airport name because that's not been mentioned over there right so this is the first thing then let's create the validated one so how do i create so where is my controller this is my controller at the weight airport by city right so i'll simply apply at the weight validated and here this here i airport by something called name dot class okay so you just give this validated so this is for the city right so uh, let me copy paste this here because i need it for the airport by name right here i'll just need it for city so again i copy paste airport by city okay that's it so in this case it is applicable only at these groups now 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 anything i need to do no just let me run this and see now you could see it started running let's see yeah it is started running now let me rerun this swagger okay so here we have to airport by name airport by city okay so let's go with the airport by name okay so first let's try to give a valid airport name something like this one okay because i have this valid data with me so airport by name and let's remove the airport let's not take care of let it be like this now if you see here we could get the data properly but if i just keep it empty i'm not getting anything okay because because of the same thing right okay because it should not be let's me give airport city as something and see what is going to happen so same thing because airport name is one matters for this okay because airport here the group name is different right so 
by name i have applied the validated airport by name okay so it will go to this okay so this is my markup interface here so it will go here and it will check okay this is a corresponding markup interface is checking so it is going to check this validation and it is going to omit this one okay and the same thing applies for other api as well so let me show that as well so i'll use something here and i am not going to use anything here okay then what will happen you could see the same thing if i use it as a airport city and make my airport name as blank what will happen now you could see because airport city is a main thing here okay this is good now this is i think you have understood now what is the use of uh the validated right so let me see this airport data here right so let me apply at the rate valid and let's see what is going to happen because in at the rate airport at the rate valid so let's see whether this not blank is going to be working or not okay so this is airport info right let me save it and rerun this application one more time and see I hope you guys are following uh, this. If you have any doubt, do let me know in the comment section so that I can help more on this topic. Okay, so yeah, it started working now. So it started executing now. Let's see that API. Where is that API? That API is add airport info is the API where I have given only at the rate valid and let's see what is going to happen. Okay, so add airport. Uh, uh uh info this one okay and here let me go to this and send 996 right so let's give 997 okay and let's keep airport name airport city as empty now you could see 500 because it is not accepting anything here you could see airport name should not be blank and airport uh, this one as well city as well that is good now let's try to give something in airport name okay um, let's say like uh, Pune and airport city if I keep it blank what will happen now also it is not accepting because basically it has at the way valid is applying into uh all uh, this not blank is there right so this not blank is applied to both of them okay so if i give something like pune here so here i am giving airport name and airport city both are not not you know null pune airport then if i execute then ideally it is inserted okay so now you could see it got inserted here right so this is the main difference between at the rate validated and at the rate valid i hope this is useful for you guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off